Yo, what's going on there, people of the internet? My name's Yitika Beastie. Today, we are here to do another video. So, um, I'm actually going to be taking somebody else's tutorial today and making it a little bit better, maybe updating it a little bit. Um, so, I'm actually typing it in right now. Uh, Tom J. McCoy made a video. Four years ago, he made a video about uh, adding bumps and flashes in Sony Vegas. Um, so what I'm going to do, he made a very good video, by the way. I'm not saying that it's bad or anything. I really liked it. Really easy tutorial, very simple and very easy to follow. I'm hopefully going to try to keep the same uh, vibe going. But uh, I'm actually going to update it a little bit for 2017, the new year. So hopefully... Uh, it will be a little bit easier for some people who are trying to or kind of struggling, you know, trying to figure out the video that's four years old. Um, so, yeah, let's just get right into it, I guess. Because um, there are a few new things, you know, obviously Sony Vegas has been updated a lot since that video came out. And uh, I know I had a couple problems with the uh, original tutorial, so I'm going to try and fix those problems and help some people out who don't uh don't know how to do this so first of all add your clips i just put in a random cod clip and a random song so uh first of all i'm going to hit switches right click on my track hit switches and disable resample always do that no matter what you're doing uh resample is not a good thing Okay, so that's basically my clip. It's pretty long, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna cut it in half. Like that. I'll probably end it right there, because that's really long. And I know one of the problems in his video is that he takes a long time to do everything. So, um... So, what we're gonna want to do first, um... So, just like in his video, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find all the beat drops or the bass. You don't really want, I don't really like putting snare hits as uh, bumps because it just sounds, it just looks weird. Like that was a, that was a snare hit. Uh, so, proud, so this was the first one. So every single time you hit a beat, uh, you're going to want to put it right over your uh, cursor right over it and then hit M. And that will add a marker, then just click off, and it will add a little marker. That's a, that's a, that's a, that's a snare. And here's another one. Um, right over there. And here is another one. here okay so now that you did that pretty simple um what you're gonna want to do is you're going to click on your first marker and it should put your cursor right on it uh i don't really like all these screens up i put it to the default screen so that you know just to show be simpler uh so i'm gonna put my cursor right there right click on my video track and i'm going to go to Oh, actually, no, I'm not going to right click. I'm going to click right here on this little uh, speech bubble. That's what he called it in the video. Uh, event pan crop. Okay, so. Make sure that this right here, that lock aspect ratio is selected. And make sure that this down here, the sync cursor is also selected. If it's not selected, this won't work. It will screw everything up. Uh, sometimes you want this selected. Sometimes you don't for certain things. But this one, you really want it selected. So, what we're going to want to do is, if it should be on your first uh, bump, is you're going to want to simply zoom this in. So this is kind of a heavy beat, so I'm really going to push it in. Uh, for softer beats, like the one in his original video was pretty soft, so he put it only to about like, whoops, no, that's not what I mean. Uh, he only put it to like there, but I'm really going in, so I'm, <laughs> I'm going in heavy, so putting it about there um so that should have made a little thing right here 
if it didn't hit the little plus button, but it should have made a little uh, diamond. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to move this out of the way a little bit. Uh, click on the two and then hit this little add keyframe or create keyframe and then do the same thing with all of them. Just click on all of them and add a little keyframe. Now, this is basically all that what he did in the other tutorial. This is very simple and self-explanatory. So now go back to your first keyframe, uh, your first marker, not keyframe. Well, I guess. Um, and go to here to this little frame, previous frame, click back once and then right click on this and hit restore and then do that for all of these which will take a second um, there back restore click this back a frame restore I am doing this at 30 frames if it was 60 it would be a lot less maybe you should if you're doing 60 frames a second maybe you should go back like two or three frames instead of just one um, maybe it'll just make it look a little bit better so now this is basically where his tutorial left off um which worked back then but now it will not work what the hell i think i screwed this one up i'm just going to delete these keyframes and start this one over because i think i screwed it up so create and then back one restore there okay so this is where his tutorial left off. He just left it at this. But if you do this now, I'm going to lower the volume a little bit. Then it will just kind of look, it will work. And, um, but it is kind of slow and I don't really like that. Um, so I'm gonna teach you guys how to do it a little bit faster and make it look a little bit nicer. So now click on your original marker again on your first key your first uh, beat and I would go over here to the next frame button and I would click like three times probably three and then hit restore again and do that for all of them one two three restore this will make it go a lot faster um, and just a lot just quicker so now let's see what it does. See? It'll just make it look a lot smoother and a lot quicker. Another thing you can do is you can go back into here and then go to your first, like this one, and right click on it and make it fast. Uh, and then do that with all of these. And then it will just make it a little bit faster. It won't do too much, but it will make it a little bit quicker and a little bit uh, discreet, a little bit more discreet. So now that we get the bumps out of the way, um, we're going to do the flashes, which is this is kind of where the tutorial from the original video kind of screwed up a little bit. And I'm not going to say screwed up because then it was actually correct, but now it's a little bit different so you know the interface has changed a little bit so now there's two ways you can put the bump map on you can either go to video effects and just go to bump map or you can right click on your video and go to video event effects make sure you go to video event effects and not um, media effects and then Sony bump map you can double click or just hit add and then hit ok it should be on your Sony Vegas already because it's uh, sent to you by Sony themselves okay so make sure at the top your preset is set to upper right glow and it will look kind of wonky and weird like you screwed around with something on like Photoshop and it looks really bad so make sure your bump height your bump height is zero and your shininess is also zero and your ambience uh, I'm gonna put it like half so it doesn't have to be exact but you know pretty close um, now on his video, he had a little animate button and a whole thing. With that, with this, you don't really have it. And also, you're gonna want this instead. He had a little box where you could put the uh, little dot, and you don't have that anymore. We actually put it right on. They put it right on here. So I'm gonna put that right in the center. Or at least try. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, 
So yeah, and now we're going to... So, instead of the anime button, they've taken all that away, and instead they put these little stopwatch clock things. So, un where intensity is, I'm gonna hit the little stopwatch, I'm gonna put this to zero first though, and I'm gonna hit the stopwatch. So, now, if you still have this selected down here, the sync cursor to media timeline, it should automatically go to where this is. So I'm going to put this right here, and I'm going to put this to about, hmm, not very much. I'm going to put it up a little bit more than he did. He put it to like 0 0.55, I think. I'm going to put it up a little bit more to like 150 something. So there's that, and now you do the same thing. Go to 2, hit this little add button down here. Go to three, add button, four, add button. Now, you go back, you click on this, and you go back one, and you change this to zero. And then you go click here, you go back one, and then you hit the plus. No, you don't hit the plus button, don't do that. You, you change it to zero. Because if you hit the plus button, it won't do anything. Um, back one, zero. Back one, zero. So now what you get is this. Which works. Um, if you want it like that, keep it like that, you know? But I want it, again, to be a little bit quicker. Just a little bit faster. So I'm going to right click and go back to video effects. Um... So, you're going to click on the original, or just click on this, um, and then go again, like I did the first time, one, two, three, and drop it down to zero, click here, no, not there, there, one, two, three, zero, here, one, two, three, zero, here, one, two, three, zero. So, it should look something like this. Say, so, now, that's a bit quick, and I get that, so I'm going to slow it down a little bit. I did not know it was going to be that quick. Um, so what you can do is just drag these third ones out a little bit more. Like there, like there, like there. Something like that. So, yeah, that's basically it. I mean, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, don't really know what else to show you. I think that's basically all the other tutorials showed us. So, I feel like my job here is done. Um, so anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, subscribe if you did. Um, make sure to leave a like if this helps. And uh, make sure to comment below what you want me to do next. I can do pretty much anything Sony Vegas related. If you want me to do another Sony Vegas tutorial, um, maybe I can do more photo tutorials. I've only done one before and it was pretty simple and pretty, I got some good feedback on it. So let me know, maybe some After Effects tutorials, I can also do that. So make sure to leave a comment below what you want to know and I will do it. Doesn't matter how long it is, doesn't matter how dumb it is. I can literally make a tutorial on anything. So. Yep, that's pretty much going to be it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed, and peace.